Welcome back to Bike Geek. Today, I'll walk you through the setup and configuration of the TP-Link Archer C6 MU MIMO Wi-Fi router. Whether you're setting it up for the first time or resetting it, this guide will make the process quick and simple. Let's get started. Start by connecting the Ethernet cable from your internet service provider to the WAN or internet port on the back of your TP-Link Archer C6 router. Next, plug one end of the included power adapter into the router and the other end into a wall outlet. Power on the router by pressing the power button. Connect your phone or computer to the TP-Link Archer C6. You can use the Ethernet cable or connect via Wi-Fi using the default network name and password printed on the sticker at the bottom of the router. On your connected device, open a web browser and type Router Default Gateway IP 192.168.0.1 into the address bar. Hit Enter to access the router's web management page. You'll be prompted to create an administrator password. Type your new password, confirm it, and click Let's Get Started. Select your local time zone from the drop down menu and click Next. Choose your internet connection type. The common options are Dynamic IP, Static IP, PPPoE, L2TP, PPTP. If you're unsure, check with your internet service provider. For this setup, I'll choose PPPoE. Enter your username and password provided by your ISP, then click Next. The Archer C6 supports Smart Connect, which merges the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands under one network name. If you prefer separate SSIDs, you can disable Smart Connect and set up each band individually. For the 2.4 GHz network, enter your desired Wi-Fi network name. Set a strong password, minimum of 8 characters. Repeat the process for the 5 GHz network if Smart Connect is disabled. Then click Next to save your settings. Now, if you want your router to get update, then you can select Set Auto Update option. Otherwise, you can skip this. Click Next. This your router configuration setting. You can click Next to continue. Now your router will save the changes and restart the router. After router restart, reconnect your wireless devices to the new network using the updated SSID and password. And that's it. Your TP-Link Archer C6 is now set up and ready to provide a seamless internet experience. If this guide was helpful, Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Bike Geek for more tech tutorials and share it with others. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.